Happy New Year makeup lovers! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to Be Lounge Makeup, I really hope that you guys stick around and subscribe for more videos. So it is already 2018. I cannot believe that today is the first day of the new year. I have on my Happy New Year little headband and I'm hoping that you guys have an amazing 2018. I hope that only great things come your way and that all your wishes come true. I also hope that you guys enjoyed last night and that you brought in the new year with your loved one, your friends, your family, and that you just had a really great night and that only the best comes your way in 2018. I'm really looking forward to the new year. I am here with my favorite video of the year. It is my 17 favorites of 2017. I have been doing this video for many years. It was the 13 favorites, the 14 favorites of 2014, 15, 16, and I cannot believe that 2017 has already flown by. I remember filming this video last year for my favorites of 2016, and it just time flies so fast before you know it i'll be doing this video again next year with my 18 favorite products but i do have excellent products to share with you guys these are the products that i fell in love with in 2017 they're not all beauty items there's some non-beauty products which are also like those products that i have used and abused throughout 2017 there were tons of favorites in the year but these are really the ones that have stuck out. So we better get started with my 17 favorite products of 2017. One thing that always scares me when filming this video is that, you know, I have my one through 17 on my phone, but I'm always scared that I'm gonna like skip one and then when I'm editing, it's like I go from, you know, 11 to 13 and skip 12 and then when you're editing, that's like a nightmare because you're not gonna get dressed up again and do your makeup again just to add one more. So. so the very first product is a foundation and this is the Dior Forever Perfect Makeup Everlasting Pore Refining Effect with Sunscreen. This has SPF 35 and I use the shade 20. The Forever Foundation has definitely been probably the number one foundation that I have reached for this year and well last year and I absolutely love it. It is just such a great product. It leaves your skin looking so nice and flawless, so smooth, so beautiful, so luxurious. I've used it day and night. It is just such a good foundation and it's the one that I'm gonna be using now in 2018 as well just because it is such a good foundation. So we'll see if there are any foundations coming this year that will top that one. Number two, I have another foundation and that is the La Mer, the Soft Fluid Long Wear Foundation. This is also another foundation that just has been so beautiful. This year I use the shade Linen 13. It is so flawless, so smooth. I mean, it's just, both these foundations have all the qualities that I look for in a foundation. And I mean, I can't even tell you which one I like more than the other. I know I've used the Dior Forever one more, probably because I've also had it longer. But these are just both great foundations. And I just feel like for my dry skin, they're just perfect. They glide on so nicely. They're just beautiful. And I highly recommend them. So these are definitely huge products that I found in 2017. For my number three, I have my favorite palette of the year. This is the only palette in this list, and it is my go-to palette that I love. I love to travel with it. You can use it during the day, you can use it at night. It's by a YouTuber, it's awesome, and I love it, and she is like one of my favorite YouTubers out there, but just her palette is perfect. It's my type of look. It's made for brown eyes, but anybody can use it, but for me, it's just my go-to favorite colors and that is the Persona Identity Palette. I love it so much. Definitely my favorite palette of 2017. It's the one that I have used and abused. Just look at these neutral eyeshadows. This is definitely my favorite color. As you can see it has the huge dent in it but I still haven't hit pan. It's called Gold Digger. G-O-A-L. Um, I just love it. So definitely favorite palette. My number four, I have a handbag and it is from Louis Vuitton and this is the Speedy Bandolier 30 in the monogram on prompt 
and this is the black color. I love this bag. I used and abused this bag in 2017 and it still looks perfect. I love it. I love this pocket in the front. It has this strap so that you can kind of just carry it on your arm or just carry it like this with your hand. And it also has the strap so you can wear it on your shoulder or you can wear it crossbody and that's what I love about it. I think it's a great size. It has, you know, a couple pockets on the inside. It has three pockets, two on one side, one with a zipper on the other side. But it is just such a great, convenient bag. And, I mean, I think this is like the favorite, my favorite handbag that I've ever had. It's my favorite Louis Vuitton, that's for sure. Louis Vuitton is my favorite brand. But I think this is just like the nicest bag that I have ever purchased and the one that I have fallen in love with the most out of any brand. So I definitely had to mention this in my 2017 favorite. My fifth product of 2017, and by the way, these are in no particular order, is a mascara this year. Before, my go-to mascara was the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, and in 2017, I found one that I loved even more, which replaced that mascara, and that is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. This has become my go-to mascara and I love it. So when you replace one of your go-to products, it's a really big deal because it's always great to keep on finding things that just get better and better. And some products just stick around longer and others don't, but I'm really enjoying this mascara. It's one that is so buildable. Love the wand. It's kind of like those plastic wands, which are my favorite. Love it that it's not so big. Love that it has a curve but I feel like it grabs every single lash. And when you have lashes like mine, you wanna make sure you grab every single lash. I'm not a huge, you know, false lashes type of person, so whatever I can do with my tiny lashes, I try to do, and I try to make them as va va voom as I possibly can. And this mascara just grabs every little hair. I love it, it's a great mascara, and it also, also lasts all day. Even though it's not like a waterproof mascara, it lasts me all day. And it's one of the mascara that leaves the less fallout at the end of the day. Like a lot of the times I have like the little black specks right here in my concealer area. And with this, I feel like it doesn't happen as much. My sixth product is a shampoo from the brand Lush. And that is the Lush Rehab Shampoo. It says get hair into a rehab and bring it back to health with cleansing enzymes, softening seaweed, and scalp toning oils. I have used this shampoo and I've probably gone over through like four or five of them. Love it, love how it lathers, love how it feels on my scalp. I love how it smells. It's like invigorating for your scalp. It's such a great shampoo. Only thing that sucks is the price, but it's a really good shampoo and it's the one that I discovered in 2017 that I have bought over and over again and has become one of my favorite shampoos. For my number seven, I have an eyeliner and this is a specific eyeliner in a specific color. And this is from NYX. This is, let me see the full size because I have, this one is so tiny. This is the NYX Extreme Shine Eyeliner in Glitzy Gold. And I think I've probably gone through five of these in 2017. It is my go-to eyeliner. I wear it every day on my lower lash line and water line just because it gives me a nice pop of color. Sometimes I don't even put on eye makeup and I just put on this eyeliner and mascara. That's pretty much what I do every single day for work. I love it, it lasts all day. It glides on, it just goes fast just because it's so smooth. But it is this one right here. And I know this is a teeny tiny one, but the color is just so beautiful. Look how beautiful that gold is. I love it. I'm actually wearing it today as well with some gold shadow over it, but it is my go-to, pretty much my holy grail eyeliner and that I get so scared that it's gonna get sold out that I have bought like four or five. I think I might have more in there, but I buy a ton of these just because I go through them so fast and I always have to have some backup. Number eight is also a non-beauty favorite and that is the I watch, I have fallen in love with this watch. It's what I have been using over and over again. This is actually the second series that came out. I got the big size in the rose gold. The one, it came with a navy blue band was the original one that it came with. And those bands, if you buy extra bands on apple.com, they're pretty expensive. They're like 55 bucks. I bought a gazillion colors on amazon.com for like $6.99, $7.99. So I bought a ton of different colors. And I just love it, it's so convenient. I love it because 
you know, say you're in a meeting at work and your phone vibrates and it rings, you can kind of just see quickly, you know, in your arm, if it's even important, you don't have to glance at your phone. I love how you can get your text messages here and it's just so convenient and it's pretty much, I have so many watches that I have bought that are beautiful, but I just never reach for them because I always just use the iWatch. So I had to mention it in this video because it's just one of those products that I have used and abused in 2017 and will continue to do so in the new year. My ninth product of 2017 is the Clarisonic. This is the Mia Fit and I got this minty color. I remember this I bought in last year's Sephora sale. Well, last year's meaning 2016 Sephora sale. And um, I started using it right away and I fell in love with it immediately. A lot of people have been using the Clarisonic for years. I was late to the game. I bought it in 2016 at the end of the year and throughout the whole year of 2017, I have used it. The brush head that I like the most is the Cashmere brush head. That one is my favorite one for sensitive skin because I feel that it's not so rough and I really like it for me. Even though the one that's for sensitive skin, that is the more shorter one, that one I use a lot too, it's good but it's a little too rough for me to use every single day. Whereas this cashmere one, I can use it every single day and it's super light. Sometimes I alternate them if I wanna maybe exfoliate a little bit more, but just this Clarisonic brush just makes washing your face just so much more amazing than using your hands and I can use it with all my favorite face wash. I discovered an amazing lip balm in 2017 and that is from the brand Fresh and this is the Sugar Lip Caramel Hydrating Lip Balm. This is a great lip balm. I don't know if I'm loving it more now than the Dior lip balm that I always use, the pink one. This is a brand new one that I got so I don't even wanna touch it because it's the one that I had closest to me. I bought two during the Sephora sale. This is a new one, the other one's in my purse. It is just such a great lip balm. It smells great, it goes on so nice and smooth. It just feels so good. So this is a really good one. Fell in love with it instantly and have been using it ever since. My favorite lipstick of 2017 is from Smashbox and it is the B Legendary Lipstick in the shade Pretty Social. This is, again, the perfect pink for me. I just love it so much. This lipstick is already pretty beat up because it's the one that I have used and abused, but it is a beautiful pinky color. It is my perfect shade of pink. So I fell in love with it. This is a swatch of the lipstick. It is just really beautiful. I think it goes with any makeup look and I just love it so much. So this is definitely the best lipstick that I found in 2017. From the brand Olivia Garden, I found my new Holy Grail brush last year in 2017. It's the Wet Detangler brush, and I found this at Ulta. This is what it looks like. I love the bristles. I always love, I also love how you hold the brush. Just, it's very comfortable and convenient. This is what I have been using and it is just an amazing brush. Number 13 is my favorite highlighter of 2017. This is pretty much a highlighter that I use on an everyday basis, mainly for the daytime when I don't wanna go all va 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 voom with the highlighter. So this is a highlighter that is a little bit more toned down than like my Champagne Pop from Becca. That's like my favorite going out at night highlighter and this is my favorite everyday highlighter. I use it every day to go to work. It's beautiful, it makes your skin look so healthy and glowy and absolutely obsessed with it. And that is the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle Highlighter. And it is just such a beautiful pinky toned highlighter. This is what it looks like. It also smells very, very good, but it's beautiful. This is pretty much, I think, the only box powder that I have from Benefit. I love it. Number 14 is skincare, and this has been my go-to face cream for 2017. I repurchased it during my Sephora haul at the end of 2017, and that is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. This is such a good face cream. I love Fresh. I also love the gel cream for the daytime, and this is the one that I like to use in the evening. It's just like a white cream. 
but it's a lot thicker, but it still goes on so smoothly. And I feel like it refreshes your skin thick, heavy cream. Yeah, it's still very moisturizing and it's the one that I like to use in the evening. My favorite concealer of 2017 is gonna be probably a boring one because this has been a very famous concealer. A lot of people have this in their beauty favorites for 2016. I discovered it towards the end of the year and I've been using it all through 2017, mainly for the evening because it's just so va va voom brightening. It's very, you know, full coverage but it's amazing and I had to include it in my 2017 favorites. That is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I use two shades, light and light medium, but this is the one that I like to use when I go out at night, when I wanna go all out, you know, have that bright eye, and it just, oh, it just looks so beautiful, very full coverage, but it's not something that I use on a daily basis just because I like to use it with a beauty blender and it's such a thick concealer that it really takes a long time just to blend out. You have to do it very carefully with a beauty blender, but it just makes your look just look so flawless. So this is pretty much my go-to concealer, but mainly just for the evening and for more nighttime going out type of looks, not for every day. Last two of my 17 products are kind of like where I kind of cheat a little bit because I show you more than one thing, but it's pretty much my go-to blushes of 2017 were from NARS and I have two that I wanted to show you guys but it's my number 16. Um, the first one is the NARS blush in threesome which is this really pretty pale pink blush. This is one that I used a lot throughout 2017 and another NARS blush that I used a lot was this palette. Not all of them from the palette but it's like this Narcissist palette. It's the unfiltered two but this color right here, I really used a lot. And this one too, sometimes I would just kind of like, you know, push, put my brush between those two colors. So pretty much NARS has been my favorite brand for blushes for the year of 2017, mainly these two pinks, and of course the threesome color, which I love. If I had to pick one, it would definitely be this threesome color, but I wanted to mention both of these because those are the two you know, two little palettes that I was using a lot during 2017. And for my number 17 are my favorite brushes of 2017, and they are from the brand Morphe. They're from the Elite Collection, and I have three brushes to share with you guys. These are the ones that I gravitate towards the most. I find myself, like, I have so many brushes, but when these get dirty, I find myself like washing them so that I can use them again instead of just grabbing another one of my brushes that are for the same purpose. So the very first one is the Morphe E3 brush. This is this brush right here. And this one I like to use for blush just because I like that tapered type of bristle, well, tapered type of shape. And I love these bristles. They're really great for powder products but really, really loving these Morphe brushes from the Elite Collection. This is a new Elite Collection, or the one that is here to stay. It's the one that's gonna stay permanent. Next is the Morphe E48, which is this one right here. This one I like to use to apply my highlight. Love it as well. It is a really great brush. Love it for highlighting. It just gets right in the areas where you wanna apply that powder highlighter. And then the third one is the E53, which looks like this. This is another one that I also use for blush. This one and the other one that I showed, you can also probably use those for like contouring the E3, these tapered brushes. Have a lot of different purposes, but I mainly use these two mainly for blush. This is the E53. This is a brush though that um, I think I went to, or when I went to Orlando, I wanted to just take a couple makeup items and this is the only brush I took and I used it for blush, bronzer, and highlight. So they're just so multifunctional. You can use it for so many things. They're a great price. Morphe website, you can use one of those codes that all the um, YouTubers have. And I just think they're really great quality for the price and those have been my favorite brushes of 2017. So that is pretty much it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed my 17 favorite products of 2017. I have a lot of great videos coming your way in the year 2018. I actually had this idea that I wanted to do maybe in the month of January a video 
of like a roundup of my go-to favorite beauty products in every single category. A lot of people do that for, you know, like the end of the year. I just like to do, you know, the 17 products of whatever year it is or 16 of 2016 where you just really have to narrow it down to your favorite products and that's pretty much this video and I wanted to keep on doing this video but I also wanted to go through all the categories and basically show you all the bronzers that I gravitate towards you know two or three all the blushes that I gravitate for, you know, something like that. So I think I'm gonna be doing that video coming soon, maybe this month of January, um, just to pretty much show you, you know, what are the favorite products that I'm using in my rotation. So pretty much like not the one blush that I use, but maybe the two or three blushes that I am loving that you always grab, because sometimes you tend to grab the same few products over and over again. So I really wanted to do that video. So keep your eyes out for that one. I haven't filmed it, but it's probably the next one that I'll be filming um, maybe like in a week or two. But anyways, I'm gonna list all the products in the description box down below that I mentioned. Like I said earlier, I hope you guys have an amazing 2018. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And as always, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye.